My name is Sierra Street, and I'm a judge on the Court of Common Pleas in Philadelphia. I've been a judge for eight years. I was raised by a single mother who is a nurse and an army vet, and she instilled in me two different things that I think are important for you to know. One is a strong work ethic, and two, a mission to help others. And so I decided, once I went to Howard University undergrad, just like Kamala Harris, I then decided to go to law school. And while I was in law school, I was able to intern at the White House under the Clinton administration. And then I went into public interest law when I graduated from law school. And that's the area of law where you help people. You don't make a lot of money, but you help people. And that's what I've been doing my whole entire career. I was a trial attorney for 10 years. I spent several years as a public defender standing up for thousands of people who needed help every day, all day. I also worked at a nonprofit that was in affordable housing, helping formerly homeless families and moderate to low income families get housing. Now I'm a trial judge and I spent several years in the, cr cr in the criminal division where I was the lead supervising judge of the Philadelphia Indicting Grand Jury Program, which houses all of the most serious cases in the city, the ones where people are afraid to testify. I'm very proud of that work. I was also elected to be the chair of Judicial Council, which is a group of judges of color across the state, all the way from Philadelphia to Allegheny County. And we did a lot of community service. We, I have created a college mentoring program for all of the area high schools. We also mentored law students from Penn all the way to Duquesne Law School. We also mentored students in the juvenile justice system. And so I have always had a career built around service to others, especially those who need help. Help those who need help, that's my motto. And that's why I'm running for Commonwealth Court. I have a very diverse background. I was a trial attorney for 10 years. I worked on the criminal side as a former public defender, uh, handling thousands of matters over several years. I also worked on the civil side as a trial attorney for a nonprofit. And there I was able to get some experience in zoning, some experience in the sale and development of residential and commercial property. So I dealt with tax assessments, government compliance and regulations, and we know that federal funding um, is what is responsible for affordable housing and it trickles down to the local level. But there's a, there are a lot of rules and regulations that have to be dealt with, and I was chief counsel and I was responsible for all the legal matters at this nonprofit. So I've experienced as an attorney first on both sides of the law. Now as a judge, I was, I was assigned to the criminal division for several years, which was fine because I'm a former public defender and I handled thousands of matters, major jury trials, uh, non-fatal shootings, rape cases, um, aggravated assaults, human trafficking cases were also sent to the uh, investigate, invest, indicting grand jury program that I was a lead supervising judge over. Um, and I'm, now I'm assigned to the civil division. So I'm doing the work of the Commonwealth. I'm handling statutory appeals involving government entities. So I have diverse experience, first as an attorney on both sides of the law, and now on the other side of the bench as a trial judge on both sides in every area of the law, civil and criminal. And when you're in criminal, you handle family violence cases. So I've handled all uh, cases in every aspect of the law. And that's why my experience is diverse, and that's why I can handle all of the matters that the Commonwealth Court handles, because those, it, those matters are very diverse as well. But what the court doesn't have is diversity on it, and that's why I'm also running for the Commonwealth Court, to increase the diversity on the court. The Commonwealth Court is such an important court. I think it's one of the most important courts in our state. The Commonwealth Court handles all of those issues that I previously mentioned that affect all Pennsylvanians. We're talking about bread and butter issues, quality of life issues affecting the working class and all of us. The Commonwealth Court is, is, is a unique court. We're the only state that has a Commonwealth Court. The Commonwealth Court is the only appellate court that also has an original jurisdiction. So what does that mean? It handles trials. I already told you that I'm a former trial attorney and now a trial judge. So I'm, I'm experienced on day one to handle the matters that come before the Commonwealth Court. The Commonwealth Court is not balanced right now. We have seven Republicans and only two Democrats. Okay, we, you know, there are no judges of color on this court. This court does not properly or adequate, adequately reflect all of Pennsylvania. And I'm not saying we have to have all of one other thing, but we need a balance. If we, if we want a good court, we need a balanced court, a fair and a balanced court. We all deserve that, we all want that, and that's why I'm running for Commonwealth Court. We need to make a change on the Commonwealth Court. The Commonwealth Court needs a bold, fresh voice. They need to be more fair and balanced. You should vote for me because I have the diverse experience that meets the needs of a diverse court like the Commonwealth Court. And when I say it's diverse, I don't mean the makeup of the court, I mean the issues that it handles. So all of the experience that I have, at first as a trial attorney for 10 years on the civil side and the criminal side, and then over as now a trial judge for the past eight years on the criminal and civil side, and also family 
uh, law cases that come in as family violence cases uh, on the criminal side, I have the diverse experience to handle all of those issues that come before the Commonwealth Court. All of those issues that affect the working class. We're talking about professional licenses. We're talking about education uh, for your family. We're talking about it, issues that affect your pocketbook. Um, you know, bread and butter issues that affect us all every day. And some people don't even know what the Commonwealth Court is. And they are making decisions every day that affect all of our lives. And that's, you know, the courts are all important to us. And we know that from the last election cycle. The courts are the you know, where the buck stops. The buck stops with the courts. We are the independent, we're impartial, we, you know, are supposed to hold ourselves with integrity, but to do that, we must be fair and balanced, and that's what the Commonwealth Court lacks right now, and that's what I want to bring to the Commonwealth Court. Just a little more balance so that we can uphold the Constitution as we are sworn to do. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more videos on subjects like this and many other topics. Please leave any comments in the, in the comment section. Any questions or comments, I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.